Hi, it's Sherry. Welcome to Canterbury Cottage. I have had the craziest week of shopping. I went to the most amazing estate sale that I have ever seen. The house was literally packed with quality antiques and vintage items. The sale was so good that I went twice. I went on the first day and then I went again on the last day when everything was marked half off. I also, for the very first time, went to an Amazon bin clearance center. This is a store that buys crates of returned Amazon merchandise and resells it at super cheap prices. And I went to this sale two times also. I went on the first day when everything was marked $8, and then I went again a couple days later when everything was marked down to $3. And of course, I had to shop some of my favorite thrift stores throughout the week. So I can't wait to show you everything I bought and what I've done with some of my finds. While I was editing this video, I noticed that I used the word cute a ridiculous number of times. So I decided to just go ahead and make fun of myself and turn it into a contest to see if one of you could guess the exact number of times that I used the word cute. So when you're finished watching today's video, put your guess in the comments. And if more than one of you guesses correctly, then I'll choose a name at random. And that person will receive an Amazon gift card for $115. I chose $115 because my channel reached 115,000 subscribers this week. And that is a crazy number. Well, in case you're counting, I've already used the word cute twice. So we better get started. I went to the most amazing estate sale today and it was right down the street from where I live. I videotaped the whole thing, but I don't know how much of it I'm actually going to be able to share with you because it was so crowded. The background noise was so loud that you can barely hear what I'm saying. So I'm just quickly going to show you some of the things that I bought at the estate sale. The homeowners clearly loved needlepoint as much as I do. I got this bird needlepoint wall decor for $8. I absolutely love, love, love this. I also got two pieces. I'm sure these are intended to be used to upholster a chair. There was a large pile of these, so if there are still some left, I will likely pick them up on half price day, even though I'm not sure how I'm going to use them. Oh, and here's another little needlepoint picture of a hummingbird. I picked up these because they were only 50 cents each and I loved the chunky frames. And these were also in the 50 cent box and I've never seen these plates that are little like this. And a vintage silver frame. It's just so little and pretty. And this oval frame with dried flowers in it was a dollar. They had shelf after shelf after shelf of great books, but they were charging $2 a book. So I figure I can go back on Sunday and get a bunch of books when they're only a dollar because there is no way they are going to sell all of those books in two days. But I did get this little book just because it was so cute. I love small books and this one had a picture of a bird on the front. I'm such a sucker for birds. And then this Grapes of Wrath, because I don't think that I have a copy of this in my library. I picked up this old bottle. Um, I loved it because it had that original label on it. And this little spice tin was a dollar. And more strawberries. 
a strawberry butter dish for six dollars <laughs> they had two different bins full of scissors i bet in that house they had over a hundred pair of scissors uh, but i just picked up these two little pair because they're so cute and i picked up some old spools of thread for two dollars i like to use these in different crafting projects and i picked up this um, i think it's probably pewter yep actually it says on the bottom it says handcrafted in pewter so a pewter little bird and they had four pianos in the house and at least one of them maybe two of them were player pianos and so they also had lots of boxes of the sheet music that goes in the player pianos so i've seen julie use these as wall decor um, i'm not sure what i'll use it for but it was only three dollars and i got um, this old electric clock for five dollars and this was one of my favorite finds they wanted forty dollars for this clock which was pretty pricey but I'm pretty sure that it is worth a lot more than that and even if it's not it's beautiful I love clocks I love blue and white chinoiserie so I just felt like it was a sure thing. Uh, these two, I don't know if they are purses. They kind of look like binocular cases, but I think, look, there's a mirror there. So I think they're actually purses. So this one was $2 and then the bigger one was $3. And then I got this big wicker suitcase for $3. It is kind of falling apart but I've never seen anything like it and so for three dollars I had to have it and then I paid four dollars for this old book of wallpaper and fabric samples I figure I can definitely use that in some projects then I also bought a small secretary desk for a hundred dollars but my husband will have to go back with me because we'll have to carry it down the stairs and load it up in the car and bring it home and that was not something that i could do by myself it was such an incredible sale that i went back on half price day picked up some books some vintage toy pieces a wood canister set, and even some strawberry items that I hadn't seen before. I think the best finds are free, like the ones you find on your neighbor's curb. I saw this homemade lamp, and of course, I stopped and threw it in the back of my car, and I absolutely love it. It is clearly homemade, and it is so... 1990s country but I think it has great potential and I adore this lampshade it is so English country I would love to find another lampshade exactly like this because these would be perfect on my nightstands in my bedroom so you'll have to wait and see how I make over this unusual lamp you know I love a good thrift store, and I hit a couple in my area this week. Okay, let me show you what I got at the thrift stores. First, is this wood lamp. Is this not awesome? I will probably be giving this to Amaya because I think this would look fabulous in her boho living room. And I paid $9.99 for it which that is a lot for a lamp but this one is just so stinking cute i couldn't pass it up and i picked up this cute little wicker picnic basket isn't this adorable it has a place for some wine bottles or whatever your choice of beverage and then a little place over here for your food how adorable is that Oh, and the basket, um, the basket was $7.99, but I got 25% off of that. 
So I also got this flat little basket. It was from Goodwill, and Goodwill sells all of their baskets for $2.18, although sometimes larger baskets, they charge more. But I just thought this would be a good one to put in the back of a bookshelf just to add some texture behind some other decor. And I picked up a cutting board. I've kind of stopped buying cutting boards. I bought them a lot for a while to resell. And I kind of think that the fascination with cutting boards is cooling off now, but this one was only 59 cents. So I thought if I sanded it, it could be really cute with an IOD transfer or decoupage or you know something to dress it up a bit. So a couple months ago, a viewer on Facebook asked if I had any ideas for repurposing old record cases. And so when I saw this one at Goodwill, I was so excited. I think this one looks almost identical to the picture that she posted. And they only wanted $2.49 for it. I really just love it the way it is. So I don't know if I will do anything with it or not. Uh, I will probably put my old 45s in it. I also found this huge glass bowl. How awesome is this? $1.99. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this, but I absolutely adore it. It would look super cute with some rocks and some succulents. I bought this at Goodwill, and then I bought this old wood salad bowl at a different thrift store. It was $4.99, uh, but it was 25% off. My thought when I bought them was that I could put this in here, but this salad bowl is too big for what I had in mind, so I'll have to keep an eye out for another one. And look at this. How cute is this little terrarium? Where's the price tag? Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm spilling stuff here. It was $3.99. But look at that, look at the floral. The it still has the Hobby Lobby 599 sticker. Yeah, I'm not really loving that. It looks kind of fakey to me. Uh, but I do love this. Yeah, I might be keeping this. This is so cute. I also picked up this hanging vase for $2.99. I think once I wash the glass and um, put a fake plant in it that this will be super cute hanging from a hook. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that a couple months ago I decided that I was going to start collecting strawberry themed dishes. But I have to be honest, they are really hard to find. I've seen very little on my shopping trips. But I did get lucky this week and I came across this bowl and this pitcher. How cute. They were a little pricey. Uh, the pitcher was $7.99 and the bowl was $5.99. Um, these were from the store that was 25% off though. So I'm just noticing the bowl does have a chip in it, but honestly, because it's for me, I don't really care that much about chips. And once I have it styled in my cabinet, no one will ever even know the chip is there. Okay, this was one of my best finds this week. So this is a set of mixing bowls. Here, I'll show you the biggest one. There's, and then there's medium. Well, actually, Oddly enough, there's instead of there being a small, there's two mediums. And one of them came with a lid. So I looked them up online. On the bottom, it says Household Institute Priscilla Ovenware. And then it's also stamped HLC, which is Homer Laughlin Company, the company that makes Fiesta Ware. So it says HLC Kitchen Craft. So each of the bowls, even the large one, was $3.50 each. 
and then I paid 99 cents for the lid. So when I researched the Priscilla pattern mixing bowls online, I saw that they were selling anywhere from $45 for a set all the way to $150 for a set. And I'm sure that mine is much closer to the $45 end of the spectrum, but I don't care. I think they're beautiful. I love the age and wear on them. And I most likely will be keeping these for myself. Okay, my last thrift store find was this metal frame, $6.99, but this was the store that I got 25% off. And I'm guessing that this probably had a mirror in it and maybe the mirror broke, I'm not sure. But I think this is going to be so pretty once I chalk paint and distress this frame and then I'm not sure what I will put in here, but I love circle frames. I think this could turn out really, really interesting. Now I wanna tell you about my first and second trip to the Amazon Bin Warehouse Center. From what I've learned, the Amazon Bin stores throughout the country are pretty similar. Most stores put out their new merchandise on Friday and sell everything at one price and then each consecutive day of the week that price goes down most stores are closed on thursday and that's when they clean out the merchandise that hasn't sold and restock the bins with the new amazon returns so at my store on Friday, the prices start at $8. So no matter what you buy, whether it is a notebook or a computer, it's going to cost you $8. And then on Wednesday, everything is down to $1. So my husband and I went on Friday morning. They open at nine, I believe, and we got there maybe at about 10.30. And although there were some kind of good things left, um, I think most of the pricey items had long since gone out the front door. So I really think that if you are hoping to get a computer or an air purifier or a lawnmower or something along that lines, you're going to have to be there when the store opens at nine o'clock. In fact, you're gonna to have to probably be there a couple hours before that to wait in line. So on that Friday, when my husband and I went, I didn't end up buying very much because I felt like most of the things that I wanted were not really worth $8. If I had needed drapes, boy, that would have been the place to get a good deal on drapes but I didn't need any drapes. So here's what I did buy. I bought this package of three little Christmas trees. Pretty cute. And the little trees have fairy lights on them. I bought this package of four wreaths. That's $2 a wreath. So thought that was worth it. I bought this box of fairy lights. There's four different packs looks like probably a hundred lights per strand fairy lights are so versatile so anytime that i see them for a really cheap price i pick them up i picked up this pack of little like little hanging faces there are one two three four five of them there were supposed to be six so that's probably why they were were returned because one came broken maybe but I think these are really cute. And that's it, that is all that I bought on that first day when everything was $8. Here is everything that I bought on Tuesday when things were priced at just $3. It's funny because a lot of the things that I ended up purchasing on Wednesday, I don't even remember seeing them when I was there on Friday. It was much more crowded on Friday. In fact, Wednesday, most of the time, there were just a handful of other people in the store 
while I was there. And so I was able to really take my time and dig through the bins and, like I said, find things that I didn't find when I was there on Saturday. But one thing that I did see on Friday was this little stuffed fox. And I was thinking, oh, if we knew somebody that was expecting a baby, this would be so cute. But it was still there when I went on Wednesday and I just think it's so cute. I might have a thing for foxes. And since I don't know anybody that is expecting a baby, I think that, I think I'm just gonna use it as decor and just like stick it in something because it's so cute. I bought my son some polo socks because my boys go through socks like nobody's business. So $3 for polo socks, I thought that was a great deal. I got the value sized clean shower because we go through this like crazy too. I got this foaming soap pump. I got a heated eyelash curler. I have used an eyelash curler ever since I was a teenager. I didn't realize they had heated ones. So I'll let you know if I think it works any better than the regular kind or not. But even if it doesn't, um, for $3, it was a good buy just to have a new eyelash curler. I bought this box of light bulbs because light bulbs are so pricey. And these are super cute little round bulbs. And I got these little battery operated flameless candles. Never have enough of these. I also bought an adjustable spray nozzle for my outdoor hose. This is a box of luxury ceramic knobs. Look how cute. I really like these three, so I'll probably use these on something that I have around the house. And then the others I'll probably save to use on furniture projects that I might do in the future. I got this little bouquet of faux flowers. Cute, I thought it was cute. $3, you can't go wrong. I didn't even know this was such a thing. So this is a printer copier fax cleaner sheet. Apparently you unfold this and put it in your paper tray and run it through your printer and it cleans it. And because I use my printer so much, I thought, well, if that makes my images come out cleaner and crisper, then great, it's worth the $3 to give it a try. I'll definitely let you know whether I think it makes a difference or not. I got these pillowcases, which is hilarious because I have actually purchased this exact set of pillowcases off of Amazon in the past, a couple years ago. So I can refresh my outdoor pillows when I get ready to get all of my patio furniture out. Then I also picked up these pillow covers. I think there's only two of these. I have some patio cushions that have gray and this kind of mustard yellow in it. So whether there are outdoor pillow covers or not, that is how they are going to get used because they only cost me $1.50 each. And then I picked up this pillow cover and I really don't have a place for this in my home. So I will put a pillow insert it in it and sell it in my booth. I also got some new kitchen towels. Um, these look really nice. I love that they have the little fringe down at the bottom. And one, two, Oh, you know what? It says there are four, but there are only three. Well, still, that's a dollar a piece for a really nice, oh, really nice. Look how big that is. Yeah, definitely a great buy for a dollar each. So this is a really nice garden wall bracket. You can hang a plant from it. And then I think this part here is to hang a decorative flag or banner from if you wanted to. I got a good pair of kitchen scissors because I ruin scissors all the time. I got this package of Ziploc bags that look like mason jars. 
like how cute is that if you put something in there and give that to somebody as a gift adorable i got this jigsaw puzzle that is of the national parks my brother and his family go to national parks all the time in fact i think that they just have a couple left that they have not been to in the continental united states so anytime I see anything National Park related, I like to pick it up for my brother. And <laughs> surprise, surprise, I found a strawberry coffee mug. Very cute and colorful. I may put a plant in it or I may put coffee in it. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I got this little fairy door because remember the clock that I turned into a little fairy house? So when I saw this, I thought, oh, that is so cute. What a cute little door. And, and there's other little accessories in there too. Okay, I'm so curious. I have to open this up to see what else is in here. A fairy welcome guide. Oh, it's like a little, a little children's story, cute. And then you have the door. There's a little tiny key in here and a little pad of paper to leave your fairy a note. So cute, definitely worth $3. Okay, and now my best find from the Amazon bins. And again, this is something that I did not see when I went on Friday because I would have bought it on Friday. But there it was and I got it for $3 on Wednesday. This set of metal legs, they are super, heavy they already have the holes in them all i have to do is slap a piece of wood on there and screw it in and i have a table or bench for three dollars okay so my final assessment of the amazon bins if you are hoping to find some expensive appliances or electronics then you're going to need to be there before your store opens on the first day because those items go fast. There was really nothing left by the time I got there an hour and a half after they opened. On the other hand, if you are just looking for some good bargains for yourself or maybe to resell in a booth like I am, then you can go much later in the week and still find some good things and have a lot of fun just digging through the bins to see what you can find. I had so much fun sharing my shopping adventures with you and I hope you enjoyed it too. And I'd love to know what you think my best find was. And if you'd like to win that Amazon card, don't forget to post your guess for how many times you think I said cute in today's video. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>